Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about drive chains, or what, what Paul Stork uh, has been working on uh, over at um, uh, over on Testnet. Uh, basically, they released a uh, a fork of Bitcoin Core. I think it's like called 0 0.16.99 or something like that, which incorporates drive chains, and they're doing it on Testnet as uh, a, you know, as a way to continue developing. Uh, I believe they have several side chains already out. They have, uh, you know, a bunch of developers working on it. Um, and I wanted to, you know, talk about what it was. Um, so a dry chain is a form of a side chain. If you don't know what a side chain is, um, it's, a, it's a way to have a two-way peg. So all, uh, all coins that come, come off the main chain go into the side chain, but anything coming in from the side chain to the main chain has to be, it has to be one for one. So you never inflate anything on the main chain and all of the coins that go back and forth, it's, it's always strictly pegged so that you don't get any inflation. So the side chain essentially acts as exactly the, um, uh, the same unit as on the, on the main chain. So what's going on here? Why, why, why are drive chains considered important? Well, um, the, the reason why people were at least uh, very excited about drive chains, although the enthusiasm has died down somewhat, is because you have the ability to add new technology uh, without you know, changing anything on the main chain. Um, I, I mean, you, sometimes you, with certain kinds of side chains you might need it, but you can't, you can't really stop it. Um, and you know, there, there are lots of different types of side chains. I think uh, you know, Blockstream has one called the Elements. Um, but you know that that that's the idea. You you have the ability to try out new technology in sort of your own sandbox, and that's that's more or less what what that is. Um, the thing about drive chains that makes it unique is that the way you bring uh, coins from the side chain back to the main chain is through merge mining uh, by a uh, miner and it, it takes a very long time to actually get uh, transfer it back um, and that's largely because of the uh, of the design so that you know miners can't really steal it without it being absolutely obvious to anyone and this is sort of like a moral uh, way of enforcing um, you know coins going back and forth and so on um, and this this is a very interesting idea and uh, and you know a, a lot of people have been excited for a long time I think Paul finished the code like over a year ago uh, but you know he it's finally released on testnet uh, we'll, we'll see exactly where it goes from here but it's um, it, you know it's an exciting project and especially if you combine it with something like the lightning network where you can um, you know do cross-chain atomic swaps um, and you can do it be cross-chain between a side chain and a main chain you can do something like submarine swaps and things it, it has a lot of potential and uh, and this is what people are excited about now is it going to be something that comes onto main chain well um, nobody can really stop it because it's entirely voluntary if you if you want to put your money onto the side chain um, you know it's it's your own risk that you're taking um, now it may be very secure it might be very useful it might uh, might give you a lot of capability but uh, it's also possible that you might you know, you might lose some, or that it can get stolen for you from you, or you know, like there might be a flaw in the in the side chain or whatever. So these are all things that you have to take into account. Um, but I, 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 in general, love the idea of you being, uh, you know, it being voluntary and something that you can do as a way to uh, get enhanced capabilities. Now, are those capabilities actually useful? I don't know. Uh, the market will have to say on that one. Anyway, hope that helps you. This song is done. Oh.